Hello my Scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for day 10 of Scraptember and we are working with florals. I'm actually scrap lifting myself again with this layout. I did a layout like this for Kidaholics Kits a couple of months ago um, and it was just nice and it worked so perfectly. I kind of got to you know when you have prompts to work to and day 10 was florals and you would use florals every day of the week when you're making a layout and then for some reason you had a specific prompt to do and you didn't have a single photo that you needed to use florals for and you didn't have a single collection with florals in them that you liked. Like I was definitely having a moment like that with this particular layout. I could not for the life of me find a photo that worked for florals. Don't ask me why. I will put florals with everything. But it, I think it's that mojo thing, isn't it? And that brain freeze concept. And so I did something that I think is a really great thing to do when you're feeling that little bit of stuckness. And that was to pull out a layout that I really liked. And I really liked that layout I made a few months ago. It was fresh in my head. Um, I'd gone through my stash and found this particular piece of paper. Uh, it's a kind of green. I would love to know what color you'd call it, but it's that beautiful sort of navy blue green. Um, and I thought it worked really perfectly for the photographs. So I really wanted a green layout for the photographs and I really wanted green um, to be a theme throughout this layout. And I was so focused on the green that I was really having trouble with getting in the flowers. So I picked um, The Print Shop by Vicky Booten because I really loved her florals and she had this really bright, strong green in it, which I thought worked really well. Um, and in the end, I went with, as I said, something that I knew, something that I was comfortable with, a layout that I really liked the style of, and that got the juices flowing again. So this particular layout is using photos of myself and two girlfriends. We went to see the show Wicked. Um, I think I've seen it about five times, but you can never see Wicked too many times. It is such a good show. Um, and this particular day, we just decided to go last minute. We got quite cheap tickets and we are literally in the back row. There is nobody behind us. We are as far away as you can possibly get. And it was amazing. It was so good. We could still see everything. No, okay, you can't see facial expressions. You're too far away for that. But I have seen the show before. So it's certainly not my first time seeing the show. So I didn't feel like I was missing out. Um, and we were sitting in a row with other people that obviously knew the show well and had been before. So they were not talking, but interacting a little bit with the show, which was quite nice because that sort of gave us permission to do the same thing. So we were singing and quietly, quietly, we weren't the annoying people in the theatre, but there was no one in front of us because we were above the staircase. So we had no heads blocking our ways or anything like that. We were just a really long way away. There was no one in front of us for at all, like, because that's where the we were literally above where the staircase comes up from the level below. So that was quite nice. It was a really good show. I do quite enjoy the show Wicked. It is a lot of fun. Um, and so hence my title. I know you can't really see the word Wicked. Uh, it, it does stand out better in real life. But even still, only just. But I just really loved this font. And I thought the font worked really well for the title. So I kept it anyway, even though the black is quite dark. And I made the title I Feel Wicked. Because, you know... For the first time, I feel wicked. Can't help it. Like, it's iconic. I mean, there are so many other words I could have written as well, but I felt like that one worked. Um, and then I was packing up my desk and I randomly found this little love heart. And it's kind of in the same color as that lighter green, bluey green color that's the folded over bit. So I just threw it on. Why not? I think it came out of a uh, Coco Vanilla Studios pack perhaps and I couldn't be bothered putting it away it's been on my desk for forever so I just stuck it onto my page but I really love the way this layout came out and even though it is a layout I have done similarly before it was still really fun to make and I think it worked really well um 
showcasing those florals and showcasing those two colors of paper. I hope you have enjoyed following along. Please make sure you check out that playlist down below and I'll see you again on day 12. Bye everyone.